How's it going? OZ Boy 81. Been working on the uh, Toyota 4Runner, or excuse me, not Toyota 4Runner, Toyota Extra Cab by RC4 Drive. This is the other body that I've had. I've showed it on a video a while back. Um, been uh, trimming the inside of the inner fender wells because uh, I'm running a scale engine bay in there. Um, I had to do some trimming because I'm running the Galande 2 uh, shock hoops. And with the uh, scale engine bay, they hit. So just kind of trimmed them up a little bit. Can't really tell that they're in there unless you really look in there. Um, but just from glance, you can't can't notice them. Um, kind of not the best lighting, but yeah. Um, in the front, I uh, went ahead and painted the center uh, grill part right there black. Still got to put on the uh, Toyota emblem. Um, did wire up some LEDs for the front. Still working on the rear. Just the RC four wheel drive. Kind of brush guard bumper uh, the tires are just the ones that you typically get on their um, their kits uh, they're just the mud terrain uh, kind of like these tires uh, just the wagon wheels by rc full drive and the scale i think these ones are the ssd hubs not running any in the rear but i'm fine with that Got the scale uh, driver in there. Just kind of went with the tan and black interior. Still might change that up. Um, let get the door open. Jeez. It's harder than I thought. Strong magnets on there, which is good. Um, it's kind of what's inside. Uh, I was thinking about painting this up, um, but uh, probably do that later on. It's kind of cold in the in the shop, so wait till it warms up. Get that painted. Um, running just the one leaf in the front, um, 100 mil. Um, these are just the RC Pro drive shocks in the front. Running the um, AM Garage Shackle Reverse Kit for the front. Um, anti rat bar by AM Garage. Uh, in the rear, it's uh, the Bilstein shocks. I think those are 100 mil as well. I have a set of 80 mil Bilstein shocks. Really love these shocks. Um, you do get some scale stickers that go on there. Uh, these are oil filled. Not running any springs in these shocks. Um, haven't had any issue with them leaking. Um, I do run uh, some green slime in all of my shocks. I uh, just put it around the O-rings and it helps out quite a bit. Makes them a lot um, smoother in my opinion. And I also do run some inside uh, where you'd put the oil. But I really like the Bilstein shocks. <clears throat> um, the reason why I'm running the RC full drive ones in the front, just because I need to order some 100 mil both Bilstein shocks. So those will be in there uh, once I get those ordered. I do want to get the uh, Toyota uh, badging. I think... Um, who makes it a couple different um manufacturers make it uh cc hands makes one that i really like i got that one for the other body which i'll show you here in a little bit um but yeah get that on there um made my own rear bumper the ones that well they're all pretty much expensive so i thought I might pick up some uh, metal um but uh this is the one for the Mojave and the bumper post or whatever um, are not long enough for this 
will be sorry because this is a long uh, bed so but ended up making my own this one is just uh, not wide enough and obviously the like I said the body posts aren't or the bumper posts aren't uh, long enough to use this one um, let's get this off there's just the scale lighting still haven't done any for the rear so for electronics just the trailmaster sport 540 20 kg servo which you can get pretty much anywhere off of uh, the old interweb uh, single speed transmission um, some aluminum drive shafts Got those on eBay. Uh, the Bauhaus Skid. Um, this is a long wheelbase, so it does have that center uh, bearing right there. So you will have to get the um, Bauhaus one to kind of raise it up uh, because it raises the transfer case. So the original one will not work. Um, it does not come with a bearing, but you can have him throw in one and he will. Uh -huh. Yeah, so single leaf in the front, uh, double leaf in the back. I'm running the O-ring mod in the rear. Just had some like green ones uh, that I found, so that's what I put in there. The Bauhaus um, shackle mount for the rear just kind of gives it a different angle, so it doesn't bind up. I normally run uh, shooter shackles in the in the back. All of my other ones have the shooter shackles, but uh, I figured try this. I might still run a shooter shackle in the back, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's that bumper that I uh, made. Just painted it uh, last week. The posts themselves are uh, six mil, and then the actual bumper is like four mil. <clears throat> so not not too much smaller than what you would see on the on the stock one which is about five mil 5.9 so just a little little smaller um, but went with the bigger uh, bumper post um, and then the aluminum bumper bracket just center punch where I wanted to drill the hole so I just run two bolts underneath uh, all the way through so it's in there's pretty solid still need to get the front one um, in aluminum right now it's just a plastic one so I kind of have a lot of play in the front I think I need a the bumper bracket uh, three I think they make a one two and three um, that one's a two and it works just fine I thought I was gonna have to get a three but uh, the two works just fine in the front. I'm pretty sure that I have to get a three for the, or excuse me, the two works good for the rear. Have to have a aluminum uh, three, which is just a little bit more of a bend to it, which brings it down for the front. Um, yeah, so Hobbywing 1080. Uh, just a stock gearing in there. Um, no overdrive in the front. Mm. Other than that, um, pretty pretty stock. Um, just a few little upgrades um, that I've done to it. It does get some pretty good flex. I'll show you uh, with the red body on there. All right, so that's with the red body on there. I really like the red look of it. Um, can definitely get my whole fist underneath there. Um, these leaves aren't really broken in. I think I've only drove this once, and that was with the red body. Um, if you go back in some of my videos. <clears throat> uh, this does come uh, like you see it right here. Um, just with no electronics, you can get them on Tower Hobbies um, and on eBay. It does come with the 
this bumper and a full light kit front and rear um, but just no electronics I do need to paint the center part right here uh, black like I did on the blue one um, I need to add this piece to the blue one if I can find it uh, I think I still need to paint it up um, but uh, yeah the tires don't rub on this uh, just kind of hides the lower shackle mounts on there oh I think I took the blue one off because um, at the time I didn't have the shackle reverse but uh yeah this interior is just uh, blacked out it's kind of what it comes with and just added a couple accessories in there just like a little uh mail package um a little sleeping bag oh uh, well, yeah got my uh sasquatch sticker in the back here's that uh CC Hands Toyota emblem right here. It's a. Uh, I think this one is. Oh yeah, this one's the black one. I have like a kind of a chrome looking one on my Mojave. But uh, need to order one for the blue body. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the back. I haven't decided yet. But, uh, yeah, so the blue body is gonna be the one that gets. Uh, driven the most um i do like the red one a lot but uh she's pretty pretty and i know i can't do a, a paint job like that so for the most part just gonna collect dust i know that's not what they're for but that's why i have the blue one i can always just repaint that one when it gets too bad this one yeah i'll never get it to look like they do when they paint it but uh so that's pretty much uh, all I have for you guys. I know this video is hitting uh, a little over 12 minutes, pretty long. So I do apologize. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the RC4 Drive Extra Cab. If it's something that you guys have been thinking about getting. I know it's kind of an old platform, but uh, they're still pretty fun. Uh, hard bodies and whatnot um, to have around. Change it up a little bit besides the Lexan, but... Uh, they're pretty capable, in my opinion. I mean, they're not like a super hardcore rock crawler, but uh, they do, they will surprise you, I should say. Um, if you like doing the scale runs, just trail runs, these are a lot of fun. But uh, let me know what you guys think. You guys like the red body more or the blue body? Uh, all right, guys, talk to you later.